White minimalistic sneakers. If you haven't got a pair in your wardrobe currently, then you are missing out. They are an essential, a staple to every single man's wardrobe. And if you don't currently have a pair, well, by the end of today's video, I'm pretty sure I would have convinced you to go out and buy them. But you're probably thinking, what pair of trainers should I go buy? Well, that's the point of today's video because I am literally presenting to every single one of you right now a men's white sneaker guide for 2020. And this video is gonna be so beneficial for every single one of you watching this. Why you ask? Well, I'm gonna tell you. You know how annoying it is when you wanna go and buy a product but you just don't know which one to buy or you can't be bothered to waste loads of time searching all of the high street shopping brands for your ideal product. This men's white sneaker guide has been designed to save you guys time. So you can see the sneakers in today's video. You can go to the links down below in the description box and then go and buy them instantly. Now the first pair of trainers I wanna show you are for 20 pound. They are the ASOS Design Wide Fit Trainers in white. They're just so, so clean. I think regarding the price tag, um, if you're going for a pair of trainers that are 10 to 20 pound, you've gotta understand that they're not made with the best material. Uh, the shape of the trainer is not gonna be the best and it's certainly not gonna last you that long either, but you know, it will last you a few months, up to six months, depending if you like really look after them or not. Basically, the higher the price, uh, the better the quality. That's uh, that's literally all I've got to say about this pair of trainers. And if you up your budget to £29, you can go for this Topman version, which I actually like a little bit better than the first version. Uh, if you look at the sides and the back of the trainer, I think the stitching is a little bit different. We can see like towards the top of the trainer, it's a bit more like thicker and bulkier, which is something that I just personally prefer. If I had to pick out the both of them, I would go for the Topman version because I've bought products from ASOS and Topman before, and the ASOS products lasted about two weeks. However, I've bought from uh, Topman before trainers for like 30, 40 pound, and they've lasted me a much longer time. So personally, I would go with the Topman versions. Next in today's online catalog for you beautiful people is uh, a pair of trainers from a brand which we just all love. It's from Zara. These are the Monochrome Concept Plimsolls. Um, these actually are my favorite out of the bunch so far. Zara were a brand that understood that streetwear was the future of fashion, and this was a few years ago. I can remember when I first started uh, making YouTube videos for this channel, uh, Zara was just literally like Bershka, Topman, and H&M, and then all of a sudden, they just literally went zero to 100 real freaking quick. And I look at these trainers from Zara, and um, I think you can see why they might pick up the bunch. The leather they've used just looks a bit more quality compared to like the other trainers that we've seen so far. And I know I'm being a little bit fussy here, but like the trainers on the Zara website just look a bit more well presented than the other versions. So far, Zara is the brand um, I would go for. You know, for £40 as well, that's such a great bargain. Like I've gone with Zara trainers before for £45 and it's lasted me two years on this YouTube channel. Those were... Those were the white dad sneakers. You know, I've ditched the white dad sneakers now and I've gone for a product. Don't worry lads, I have got a curly hairstyle uh, tutorial coming real soon. I'm actually saving the sides for a video. I will update you over on my Instagram, so go and follow it. And also make sure that notifications bell button is switched on if you're subscribing to the channel today. There is a retro option in today's video. These are the original Stan Smith trainers in white. Now Stan Smith, for anybody who doesn't know, was a famous tennis player. Fashion is one massive cycle. Uh, we have new trends come in and then they go out and then new trends come in and it's just like a rotation process. I wouldn't be surprised if Adidas original Stan Smiths become popular again in like five to 10 years. Like I generally would not be surprised. I've worn Adidas products before in Ibiza for a whole week and they lasted me. Like I came home and there was no scratches on there. There was like a little bit dirty, but you can get rid of that dirt with a baby wipe. The next product I wanna show you is from Selected Hom. They are the premium leather trainers in white for 80 pounds now. They're out of stock on size 10, which does suggest to me that um, these are quite popular and I wouldn't be surprised if they sell out in the next week or so. You're probably thinking to yourselves, the select version look exactly like all the different versions in today's video. Well, again, it all depends on the brand, the pricing. Personally, I wouldn't buy them, but I know there's gonna be people out there that wouldn't mind paying the 80 pounds for the uh, pair of trainers. I'm personally gonna go for the Zara pair because, you know, I just know them as a brand. I know like their values and, you know, I'm just bullshitting right now. I know what Zara consists of as a brand and for that reason, I'm gonna go for the Zara pair of trainers. Cause like, they're just half the price and I just think they'll probably last as long as the uh, selected home version. So the next pair of trainers I wanna show you in today's video are the Polo Ralph Lauren Sayer Leather Trainer Polo Player Logo in white. 
Jesus, is, is there a need for the title of that trainer to be so long? But to be fair, I've picked this for a reason, and this is one of the standout products in today's video, and I especially like uh, this pair of trainers because of the polo branding on the back. I just think it's really neat. I know for a fact that not many people are gonna concentrate on the back of the trainers, but for me, I just think it's a really nice touch. They've also included this like bulky white strap going down both sides of the trainers, which at first I didn't like, but now I'm really starting to like it. So yeah, Polo Ralph Lauren, you get the thumbs up in today's video. If you've got the budget, I would definitely pick this pair over um, the selected home pair because I just think this is a brand that's been around for absolutely ages. The last pair of trainers in today's video is from a brand called Cos. Now, I've never ever shopped at this brand. However, I've walked past them all the time. I have to walk past this brand when I go to Five Guys in Westfield, Stratford City. Again, I'm just gonna be repeating myself. I can't really like describe the pair of trainers because how can you describe eight pairs of white trainers? This is just a brochure. Like you guys can look at the pictures and decide amongst yourself. But what I can say, um, it does look pretty classy like this pair of trainers, like they're 89 pounds for a reason. The leather used is gonna be like a high quality leather, unlike the pair of trainers that I showed you in the beginning. So if you've got a big budget, um, I would recommend going for like this version or the uh, Polo Ralph Lauren version. But if I had to pick out of the two of them, I would probably pick the Cos version because it just looks really, really nice, like from what I've seen on the website. So guys, I hope you found this guide useful. This was pretty much like an online brochure designed to save you time. Let me know in the comments section down below what pair of trainers you're gonna be going for. Personally, I'm still gonna go for the Zara version because I just really like Zara. But yeah, go follow me on all my socials. They're coming up on the screen right now. Also, go follow me on TikTok, nearly at 100K. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. See you guys next time. I am Jay Daniels.